Hello, and welcome to La Rosa Reads. I'm Denise La Rosa, and today I am sharing with all of you lovelies some upcoming releases that have piqued my interest. Let's talk books. So I've never done an upcoming releases video, but there was something that just got me in the mood to share with you some upcoming releases that are coming out by the end of 2023 that have piqued my interest and I'm curious to see if you would be interested in reading them as well. The first book that I'm curious about is a book that will have come out and been released by the time you watch this video and it is Britney Spears' memoir titled The Woman in Me. So Britney Spears and I are the same age. I remember being a junior in high school whenever Hit Me Baby One More Time came out. I happened to also be a dancer at the time, super into music video choreography by artists such as Janet Jackson. And there was something about Britney Spears that just revived the 90s and brought some new flavor to it that was pop and sweet and a little naughty. I was here for it. I am super excited to read about her journey because most of us know that her journey has not been an easy one. It's been a very much publicized one. We've got this conservatorship um, that her father was like kind of masterminding or you know in control of her, whatever you want to say that means. And I thought to myself, what an interesting time for Britney Spears to come out with a memoir. I just have a feeling that this 288 page memoir isn't going to tell us too, too much. I feel like Britney Spears is one of those artists that is going to still keep some of her private life indeed private. I have no problems with that. I am curious, however, to see what she does decide to let us in on. So I think this might be an audiobook lesson for me. We shall see. The next book is one that is stretching me as a reader, and it's one that Kayla from Books and Lala had lifted up in one of her previous videos or more recent videos, and it is titled What the River Knows. This is a book written by Isabel Imbanez, and I don't even remember what the synopsis is about, so let me reread it and get a feel for why I'm interested in this upcoming release. Bolivian Argentinian Inez Oliveira belongs to the glittering upper society of 19th century Buenos Aires. And like the rest of the world, the town is steeped in old world magic that's been largely left behind or forgotten. Inez has everything a girl might want except for the one thing she yearns for most, her globe-trotting parents who frequently leave her behind. When she receives word of their tragic deaths, Inez inherits their massive fortune and a mysterious guardian, an archaeologist in partnership with his Egyptian brother-in-law. Okay. Oh, that was like the end of the sentence. Interesting. Yearning for answers, Inez sails to Cairo, bringing her sketch pads and an ancient golden ring her father sent to her for safekeeping before he died. But upon her arrival, the old world magic tethered to the ring pulls her down a path where she soon discovers there's more to her parents' disappearance than what her guardian led her to believe. Okay. Mmm. Very interesting, intriguing. I can see now why it piqued my interest. Um, who knows what the river knows, but I am excited to find out. I'm not even quite sure why I'm interested in reading this upcoming release that I'm going to share with you because I read its predecessor, or I should say successor, you'll see why in a moment. And that was is titled Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. And if you haven't heard about it, where have you been? I feel like Legends and Lattes has been like all the rage. Lots of booktubers, bookstagrammers, so on and so forth are super in love with it. And I found it to be okay, like just okay. Like I don't regret reading this cozy fantasy, but I also wasn't like wowed by it and wooed by it like most people seem to have been. But We've got book zero in the Legends and Latte series titled Bookshops and Bone Dust that is coming out. And I feel like I should give this series another go, especially because we're talking about books. I mean, last time we were talking about coffee, 
and lattes and stuff, and I really dig my caffeine, but maybe I dig books more. Who knows? When an injury throws a young, battle-hungry orc off her chosen path, she may find that what we need isn't always what we seek. In Bookshops and Bone Dust, a prequel to Legends and Lattes, New York Times bestselling author Travis Baldry takes us on a journey of high fantasy, first loves, and secondhand books. Viv's career with the notorious company, Rockham's Ravens, isn't going as planned. Wounded during the hunt for a powerful, what is that? Necromancer? I don't know. She's packed off against her will to recuperate in the sleepy beach town of Merck, so far from the action that she worries she'll never be able to return to it. Spending her hours at a beleaguered bookshop in the company of his foul-mouthed proprietor is the last thing Viv would have predicted, but it may be both exactly what she needs and the seed of changes she couldn't possibly imagine. Okay, so Viv's character was endearing. I liked her, so I could see myself spending some more time with her. So maybe we'll give it a go. Who knows? So I'm feeling like the 90s are just making themselves known in this upcoming release video because we were talking about Britney Spears and now we're talking about this nonfiction book titled 60 Songs That Explain the 90s. The author is Rob Harvila, and I have never heard of that author. I just saw the 90s. I saw songs. I was a teenager in the 90s. I love music. So, of course, I wanted to give this one a go. So, let's read more about it. It's pretty self-explanatory. I love the cover, how it has a CD that's very telling of the time we're discussing here. So, here's the synopsis. The 1990s were a chaotic and gritty and utterly magical time for music. I could not agree more. A confounding barrage of genres and lifestyles and superstars. Totally agreed. From grunge to hip hop, from sumptuous R&B and rambunctious ska punk, from Axel and Kurt to Missy to Santana to Tupac to Britney. <laughs> oh my lordy. If that don't tell you, if that don't sum up the 90s, I don't know what will. Ringer music critic, critic Rob Harvilla reimagines all the earwormy iconic hits Gen Xers pine for with vivid historical storytelling, sharp critical analyses, rampant loopiness, and wryly personal ruminations on the most bizarre, joyous, and inescapable songs from a decade we both regret entirely and miss desperately. Okay. Okay, a decade we both regret entirely and miss desperately. Yeah, those were the 90s for me. I am already hearing some songs that are going to show up. Let me know in the comments what songs from the 90s you think will show up in these 60 songs. I'm already thinking um, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, like that album, The Chronic. I'm thinking about um, a lot of Nirvana. The songs are just singing in my head already. I'm so curious which songs you think will show up in this book. And I think this book will show up on La Rosa Reads once again. The last book that is an upcoming release I think may land in my hands is The Kingdom of Sweets. I'm not familiar with this author, Erica Johannesson. I don't know if this is a debut novel or if this is an author that has already been out and about. What I do know is that The Kingdom of Sweets is a very um, maybe fantasy, sci-fi, horror, thriller spin on The Nutcracker. So I definitely want to get my hands on this in December whenever I'm going to see the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater performing The Nutcracker when I'm in the mood for The Nutcracker. I just think it will be an interesting take on this classic and I'm so attached to it because being a former dancer, I'm thinking of the ballet. So let's see what lies ahead. Okay, oh, so she's been around because she's a best-selling author. Um, this author journeys to a new kingdom in this brilliant standalone novel, a darkly magical take on the Nutcracker, where two sisters, cursed from birth, are forever changed one memorable Christmas, light and dark. This is the destiny placed upon Natasha and Clara, the birthright bestowed by their godfather, the mysterious sorcerer Drosselmeyer. Clara 
The favorite grows into beauty and ease while Natasha is cursed to live in her sister's shadow. But one fateful Christmas Eve, Drosselmeyer has brought the Nutcracker, an enchanted present that offers entry into a deceptively beautiful world, the kingdom of sweets. In this land of snow and sugar, Natasha is presented with a power far greater than Drosselmeyer, the sugar plum fairy, who is also full of gifts and dreadful bargains. As Natasha uncovers the dark destiny laid before her birth, she must reckon with powers both earthly and magical and decide to which world she truly belongs. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I cannot wait to dive into the kingdom of sweet. So that was an interesting time. I had fun sharing some upcoming releases that I hope to read in the near future. Maybe I should do upcoming release video things in the near future or not. I don't know. You tell me if you enjoyed this video. And also, while you're chatting it up with me in the comments, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.